Which East Asian Minecraft civilization will reign supreme in this Minecraft war simulation? Today we have the Chinese, a Mongolian hordes, one Japanese shogunate, and the Dutch colonials. Each civilization will be placed on a Minecraft Earth map where they will have 45 minutes to build a fortress and then 45 minutes to destroy everyone else's. Now, to eliminate an enemy civilization, you must destroy their obsidian towers. Each civilization has two towers, totaling four obsidian blocks. Once a team loses all of their obsidian, their respawns will be turned off and they will be on their final life. The full list of rules can be found in the description. The 45 minute build phase begins now. Okay, the game has officially begun. 45 minutes to build and oh my god, we're about to get a fight straight off the bat here, boys. The Chinese and the Mongolians are both already into this massive area. Now, during the build phase, PvP is off, except from this temple structure in the middle of the map. Only within the confines of these walls are players allowed to fight and kill to get the loot that we've hidden around the temple. Okay, there's a bunch of pillagers in here, but nobody has opened the book yet. This is a booby trap and I'm just waiting for somebody to try it. Come on, open the book. Basically, there's a lot of treasure in this starting area here. Something tells me it's gonna be a while until anybody gets it because there's just a million enemies here. No, somebody dug the book away. Oh, they're digging up the library to use for enchanting tables. That's actually pretty smart, I'm not gonna lie. However, I'm incredibly upset that nobody found this booby trap. I was really hoping somebody was going down there, but it looks like they've outsmarted me, so it's not gonna happen. Oh, there's a fight going on here. It's our first confirmed kill, I think. Oh! The Mongolian just killed the Japanese, but he's not getting out of there, but there's absolutely no way he gets out. No, he has also died. And let's advance through the levels. Has anyone got up here yet? Oh my god, there's some pretty serious enemies in that tower there. There. Also, I've not actually checked yet. Is there any? Is it literally at the very top of this? It's just an iron sword. Is that it? They fight their way through that entire thing for an iron sword. Okay, let's start looking at each of the bases. This right here is Taiwan, which until now I hadn't really appreciated it was... Well, there's a lot of mountains. Now remember, the objective is to defend your obsidian blocks and their first obsidian block is there. And then just around the corner from that, they've also got an obsidian block there. So that's two positions they need to defend. I'll be interested to see how well they can do it. This is a good spawn. Now, let's follow this island chain up all the way to Japan. And yes, their first obsidian block is there, and then not too far in the distance over there is their second obsidian block. However, unlike the Dutch, that's gonna be separated by water, so it will be difficult to defend. Also, in case you're wondering, I think that's actually technically South Korea, with this over here being the bottom of Japan, but we kind of just had to do it to make sure it was balanced. So, I think we need to go have a look at the Mongol spawn. Again, for balancing sake, the Mongol horde, well, it's basically just in China, to be honest. So they've got two obsidian blocks as well. One is pretty badly defended, but then they've got another one over here, which to be honest is, should be easy to defend. It's on a hill. And so let's just have a quick look at what a Mongol invasion of China might look like in this Minecraft tournament. Well, they're gonna be running all the way down here and over this first set of hills. And already you can see the two Chinese obsidian blocks. One is here and and then just round the corner from that is the other one over there. And then of course, as we have already seen in the center of the map, wait, hold on. Oh, somebody's just made it up to the top. Zader has made it up to the top and actually it looked like that was a diamond sword. He's already got himself a diamond sword. Okay, so the Japanese were the first to get to the top of the tower and they've got the loot as a result. Honestly, that surprises me. The Japanese were definitely not the closest. Oh, they've already got diamonds. This right here, this is Stick Golden Cam right now. This is what he is is seeing. They got the diamond sword from the top of the tower. So far, this is looking pretty good for them. Also, by the way, if you do notice, this is my favorite jumper. It is kind of falling apart and it's getting worse by the day. But if I'm honest, I actually almost think it's going to be a feature of the channel. Okay, so what is Mongol Jesus seeing right now? The Dutch colony in Taiwan, the only non-Asian team here. They might have the best spawn. A couple other guys, I think I see diamonds. I do see diamonds. Yes. Okay, they've got diamonds. That's what we like to see. They They've got diamonds, but do they have any defenses? Gentlemen, what I'm seeing you guys building is like embattlements and crenellations. It's actually looking like you're gonna create like a Taiwan island fortress here. So what's the strategy? What are you gonna do? Switzerland. Switzerland. So the colonists are recreating a European nation in East Asia. Uh, <laughs> predictable results. What's your strategy defensively and offensively? Defensively, just sitting at obsidian to be honest, but we can do some pretty 
cool stuff with the bamboo because it grows very quick and it's quite annoying. Offhand, I do not have a plan yet. I might need to think, but I do not want to spoil anything. Okay, that's fine. I'll allow you the mystery. One thing I will say, if you go too hard on turtle defense and don't attack anyone, I will just begin dropping TNT on your base. So make sure you have an attack plan. Well, I've just seen there's a pretty big pillager raid, so I'm going to leave you to deal with that. Have fun. Let's go have a look at the Japanese. Stick Golden, as team leader, who are you going to be defending from and who are you going to be attacking first? We're actually probably not going to attack anyone first. We're an island right now. It's very easy for people to just invade us by sea. We're going to prioritize defense at first and then go on the offensive as nations start weakening each other. Yeah, sounds like a relatively good plan. Best of luck to you. I will catch up with you soon. We are going to fly over to Mongolia or, you know, what is actually China and reality. Now, Darth Blitz has come up with some interesting metas in the past. I wonder what he's going to do as Mongolia in this battle. So let's jump into his VC and see if he's got any grand plans. I have a confession, Scott. I don't have a funny funny for this one. No! You disappoint me! In terms of like offense and defense, who are you going to be attacking? Who are you going to be defending? What's your strategy for that? We are going to demolish Japan. I know that they are very weak, very killable. I know that we can without a doubt kill them. We are going to boat over. Yep, that's the idea. We're just going to full send it off the bat. Okay, so obviously you're the Mongolian team and you got a little bit of history with both China and Japan. Have you got any, have you got any plans focused towards your southern neighbor China? Pray they don't kill us. Where's your confidence? Confidence, bro. Back yourself. I'm not. You come on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave you to it. So best of luck to you. You've got something like 15 minutes left. Okay. So best of luck. Okay. So the historical arch nemesis of Mongolia, I suppose, is of course their southern partner, China. Jacob G, the leader of the Chinese. Oh, the Chinese are doing something, bro. Oh, hold on a second. Jacob G goes hard. So let's jump into their VC and hear what their plan is. So what's your strategy, offensive and defensive? What's the game plan? All right. We're gonna have like a little team. We got four people. On offense and then we're having three people per tower guarding it and i do not want to lose this time i got way too cocky last time what i will say just based on the information that you gave me there you're the only one who seems to actually have a plan everyone else is still like oh yeah i know we're just gonna defend a bit and then we might attack this person well there's a reason why i win these so uh, yeah that might be it. however now that you've said that i'm gonna be expecting big things there's a lot of pressure here okay only eight minutes to go eight and a half minutes boys until build phase is complete so best of luck i will catch up with you guys soon Heading back over to the Dutch colony in Taiwan. This is looking like an actual fortress. <laughs> They're actually putting time into making it look good as well. So they basically just got walls everywhere. Oh, oh, wow. They've actually got a proper scout tower at the top as well. They've turned Taiwan into an island fortress. This is literally the Switzerland of East Asia. Okay, now for the Japan base recap. Okay, so since the last time we looked at the Japanese, they've actually made some serious progress. Probably their biggest issue when you build walls so close to your obsidian towers, people can get in and at it very easily without people spotting them. I don't, this is this is a base. I just don't know how defensively sound it is. That's my only problem. And so the last base that we need to recap on is of course going to be across the... Oh my god, while well, the Mongolians have planned a naval invasion. They've also built that. <laughs> I don't really know how to commentate what that is. That's the thing, alright. Okay, time is up. So the 45 minute build phase has ended, which means we're about to start the Minecraft war simulation of these Minecraft civilizations, which will be the last one standing. Remember, the objective is to destroy the enemy's towers, because once a team loses all of its obsidian, their respawns will be turned off and they will be on their final life. So, each of the teams are lined up outside of their fortress and now begins the 45 minute battle phase. Starting in two seconds. Starting in one second. Yes, that's right, I will be spectating war. It's the Mongolian team. Are they going to do what I think they're about to do? Darth Blitz, the leader of the team, already in the boat and away he goes. We've got a couple of defenders and then everyone else is going for the Japanese. Everyone is going for the Japanese and we've also got Iron Oxide with the Jacob G play. Oh, I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, he's bottled it. It was going so well, and then he jumped. He's ruined it. Have the enemy seen them? They have very much been spotted, but let's just quickly check what the other teams are going to be doing. We got some Dutch soldiers making a move on the Chinese. The Chinese are playing a slow start to the game over here. Okay, we've got the Dutch Navy versus the Japanese Navy. Stick Golden is an elite PvP Minecrafter. Oh, but he's getting 2v1. He's getting 2v1, but he doesn't know. He didn't see Crypto. Crypto coming in with it. This water is 
way more shallow than I thought it was. Stick is literally getting 3v1s here. There's no way Stick comes out of it. If he actually survives this, I swear. I'm not sure he can handle that. Frankly, I'm just happy to see the Dutch leaving their base. I thought this was just gonna be a disgusting base camp. It probably still is gonna be that, but it definitely is. Oh, nah. We've got an underground fight here. Where even is this? Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so we got the Mongolians and we've got the Chinese underground here. Trust the Mongolians to be going for the Chinese. Literally can't help themselves, can they? Oh my god. What we've just found here is an absolutely mental tunnel system that's been pre-dug. Now, who dug it? Was it Chinese or was it Mongolian? It comes out over here. I wonder who dug that. That could be a Jacob G play because he is big brain. Now, did that Chinese play, did it materialize into anything? No, that subsidian blocks there. And over here, we've got Potato Bog YouTube defending this obsidian with his life. Also, it looks like the day is... Wow, that's really bright. I've just been flashbanged by the sun. The day is setting and it's about to be nighttime. Also, I'm not gonna lie, this thing does upset me. This is the very first night cycle that we've had in these Minecraft tournaments. What this should hopefully do, it should give people an excuse to do some sneaky tactical plays whilst visibility is pretty massively reduced. It looks like the Dutch are forming up for an excursion. I mean, look at this. This is exactly what I mean. Look at the visibility. This is gonna be so much easier for them to get in there without being spotted. Okay, look at this. We've got three Dutch soldiers versus only two Japanese defenders. Reinforcements are on the way. This could get messy. This, if they, if they, oh no, no, that was failed. That was failed. Okay, the Chinese are making a play over one of the new ice bridges, which has been made by Frostwalker. Hold on a second. They're gonna go for this back Japan position. These guys are absolutely tooled up, by the way. Full enchanted armor and diamond picks. Let's see how quickly they get in here. This is exactly what I mean. When you build walls so close to your obsidian, they can just sneak into your base and there's nothing you can do to stop them. Oh, speaking of the obsidian, yeah, it's gone. It's already gone. So I think the Japanese have only got two obsidian remaining, if I'm right in saying- Oh my god, the Japanese are out. The Japanese players are now all on their final life. Let's have a quick look at the Chinese. Have the Chinese lost anything? No, that one there is safe. Imagine coming to one of these like Scots army recording sessions in my Discord and then this is your job. Jacob G just puts you at the bottom of a hole. That's a rough way to go. Let's have a quick look at their other <laughs> obsidian. Okay, their other obsidian. Oh, they have lost an obsidian. The Chinese have lost an obsidian. I wonder if it was the Mongolians. Predictably, probably the Mongolians. Okay, the Chinese have also now landed in Mongolia here. Are they going for a full out attack? Hold on. They're desecrating the tower. They're desecrating the Mongolian monument. Tundra, Tundra, you absolutely savage. He's literally destroying the monument. Oh, China's all over the place. The Mongolians are under attack from every direction here. There's literally fights happening outside. Jacob G is tooled up to the teeth though. Are the Dutch joining in? The Dutch Navy's turning up to join the fight. Oh, I didn't see this. I missed this. The Mongolians have lost two obsidian. The Mongolians are down to two obsidian. That is all the remaining Mongolian obsidian. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Jacob G. What's he doing? He's leading some boys around the back. Okay, he's taking the entire team. They're all geared up and they're gonna go for, I think they're going for one final push on the Mongolians here. They're just gonna rush that obsidian. If Jacob G gets that obsidian and knocks the Mongolians out, this is gonna be an absolutely mental play. Okay, Jacob G's playing. He's making a play for it. He's making a play for Iron Oxide trying to stop him. Why am I commentating this like an esports event? I don't know, but I'm excited. Is he gonna get it? Oh, he's got one of them. He's got one. Can Mufu stop the cap? Oh, move boost with the last second clutch there. That was so close to game over. It looks like they have managed to hold on to that obsidian for the time being. Hold on a second. Did I just witness? Did he just come out of this hole? Oh yeah, that's exactly what I just witnessed. The Dutch soldier just capped some obsidian there and he's in this hole as well now. Ryan fighting for this obsidian. The Chinese now only have two obsidian remaining. The Mongols are dead and can now no longer respawn. So it is literally China versus the Dutch East Indies. I was about to say these guys are way too heavily defended, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, oh my God, what just happened? I was about to drop pillagers and indicators on these guys, but oh, that was like a two, that was like a two second cap. I don't, I don't believe what I've just witnessed. The Chinese just swarmed them. Okay, the Chinese are now moving up. Jacob G's elite, bro. Can they cap this though? Jacob G's gone down. Team leader down. They've just lost their leader. Okay, I think the Dutch might be able to stabilize from here. I just want to make sure the Chinese haven't, oh, they're tooling up for a war. Look at this. Hold on. Chinese are out. The Chinese have also lost their obsidian. Okay, so this right here, this is the final obsidian in this game. Everyone else on this leaderboard who's not red is on their 
final life. If the other teams can capture the obsidian blocks before the time runs out, then it will go to sudden death. And now there's four minutes remaining. We've got some guys coming in here to make a play. The Mongolians need to find the other players though. Don't die on your own. The surviving Japanese soldiers are beginning to tunnel. We've also got Mongolians coming in. These guys are camping that position so hard. I mean, I don't blame them. There's literally like two minutes left. Okay, we've got, this is Jacob G. Oh my God, if Jacob G makes this. Okay, we've got eagle eyes here. We've got eagle eyes on it. No, Jacob G. Jacob G might be going down here. He's a good player, but how, how? No. Okay, that is it. The game is over. In this simulation, the Dutch Colonials are the last Minecraft civilization standing. If you want to join these Minecraft events, then join my Discord and subscribe so you don't miss the next Minecraft American War simulation. Goodbye.